Will that play a factor as the bell goes to begin round one? Thurman in the red, white, and blue with Garcia in the black and white with yellow. Thurman said there would be no feeling out process. There is no feeling out process. And when these guys are usually very careful at picking their spots. Keith Thurman has been down once in his career. Garcia has never been on the canvas, but they are throwing with bad intentions early. And that's why I said has recorded four first round KOs all in his first seven fights but looking to faint walking down Garcia Garcia unloading with that lead left hook 大家好老师从业中医男科三十余年帮助了数千名海内外华人朋友通过中药调理重回男性雄风如果你也存在房事时间短勃起无力硬度差中途疲软肾虚前列腺炎等问题现在就加中医老师微信 五七四九九三二零零，纯中药，一人一方，治根治本，帮助你持续坚挺二十至四十分钟，补肾壮阳，延时助勃，彻底告别快男软男。记住微信：五七四九九三二零零。You hear those shots land? So things settling down a bit here in the second stanza, but there's a nice right upper coming inside by Thurman. And a left hand that lands for Keith. One time Thurman. Overhand right. And another right. This fight is for talking trash, which I, you know, which we all do. Oh, man. Big hook. Garcia doubled over. Hey, Thurman to the occasion. On the sport's biggest stage. Oh, but there's another thudding. Even just using those rangefinder jabs has helped oh. him. We are through three in BK. Official score, Steve Farhood, how do you see the fight? Mo F. Thurman ahead two rounds to one. The second round was the... They've taken turns being the aggressor. Oh, good right hand to the body by Thurman. Nice one-two. Lead left hand, but what a counter by Thurman. Backing up Garcia. Early done that, and that left hook was a big one by Thurman. Garcia has a big movement. Nice combination by Thurman. In the final seconds have more knockouts than Tyson throughout his career with 22 he's halfway towards equaling he's just following him you gotta step to the side step, step to the right Beautiful. good 16 seen on CBS as well and now Garcia looking to dig away at the body with the left hooks now Thurman trying to establish the jab or in this fight we're starting to see it now mm-hmm. as this fight unfolds yeah he has gotten back to it oh the left hook of Thurman We've come to the end of round five. Garcia with a flurry. Neither man has been as effective offensively as they would like. Oh, it's sweeping. Which Danny Garcia is leading in terms of number of punches he's thrown. He's up by about oh, eight good. now. See what good combination by Garcia. A nice head movement. Good. He throws his jab. I tell you what, like, and oh. more than more than once. It kind of puts his man to sleep. Danny Garcia could show this kind of foot movement. He boxed well against Matisse Anish. Lead right block. Oh, and that left hand was right on the belt by Garcia. Farad made the good point. This could be an important round. It's been a very close one. There's a left hook that landed by Thurman as he avoided the attack by Garcia. Garcia, though, rolling as well. And a round seven. There's power in this weight class. Yes. Good exchange. Again, Thurman not scoring with any of those shots. And, well, Garcia misses as well. So, the question for Garcia as we move on is, he has had some trouble at the end of fights. Uh, in the And counter. <laughs> 12 for 12 here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Right uppercut lands for Thurman. All due respect to his landing jab a little bit more than Thurman is here. Thurman with the right uppercut and Garcia misses with the right and misses with the Land that big punch. Both, let both hands go. And Al Thurman known as Garcia to pivot away. That was a very good body punch. And, and a good left hook upstairs by Thurman. And the up here in round nine. And they are swinging for the fences. I see him, the confidence. He's thinking the whole time. He's moving the whole time. Did then landed the left to the body. Stepping to the left and stepping to the right. Oh, having a right hand by Garcia. 
I love the concentration. Lean the left hook, right uppercut lands for Thurman. We are headed to the championship rounds in this, the 10th welterweight title unification fight in history. He's trying it because he has to. And yet, but the thing about it, a champion has to close this show. Well said, one of the greatest champions in the sport, and now they're trying to do just... here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. We go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. <laughs> Judge at ringside, John McKay scores about 116 to 112 in favor of Keith Thurman. <laughs> Judge Kevin Morgan sees about 115 to 113 in favor of Danny Garcia. And judge at ringside, Joe Pasquale scores about 115 to 113 in favor of the winner. He is still undefeated. He is now the WBA and WBC Unified Welterweight Champion of the World. Keith Wontai! Trainer B. 